Welcome to our Crawlbase YouTube channel. In this session, we will walk you through every step of scraping Instagram using Crawlbase Smart Proxy. Smart Proxy will help you gather Instagram data without getting bothered by annoying Instagram bots. Let's get started. Go to collab.google. Click on New Notebook. You can open the blog about Instagram proxies on Crawlbase website to copy the code directly from there. Link is given in the description below. First, make sure that Python is installed in your system. If you do, next step is to install required libraries. Run it now. The response shows that the required requests toolkit is installed on your computer. You will need an access token to use Smart Proxy Service. Create a free account to Crawlbase and get this token from your Crawlbase account. Now, make a GET request via Crawlbase Smart Proxy. Copy the code from the blog. Paste it here. This code will set up a Smart Proxy URL. Specify a target URL for a GET request and print out the response using the requests library. Replace access token with your actual access token. Create a free account to Crawlbase and get this token from the link given in the blog. Now, run it. The response we received is in Latin 1 encoding. Now, perform a form data post request. Copy the code from the blog. Paste it here. This code uses the requests library in Python to send a post request to Instagram. Import the JSON library to handle JSON data in the output. Here, enter your JavaScript token. You can find it on your dashboard of Crawlbase. Now, execute the code. The output has status code, headers, and content in a formatted way using JSON. Now, make a post request with JSON data. Copy the code from the blog. Paste it here. In this request, the data is structured in JSON format. Replace access token with your actual JavaScript token. It's the same token from your Crawlbase dashboard. Execute the code and wait for the response. The output we received is the collected response information in a formatted JSON representation. This shows the status code, headers, and content retrieved from Instagram after the post request was made. Now, let's leverage crawling API parameters to make customized scraping requests. Copy the code from the blog. Paste it here. This code sends a request to Instagram through a smart proxy while using specific parameters for a crawling API. It then retrieves and displays the data received from Instagram in JSON format. Replace access token with your actual JavaScript token. Now run it. The output is now in JSON format for better readability. Crawlbase Smart Proxy offers support for JavaScript-enabled headless browsers. Since Instagram heavily relies on JavaScript for loading its content, it is essential to utilize Crawlbase Smart Proxy with JavaScript rendering enabled to extract relevant data. Let's see how to do this with an example. Let's scrape Instagram data using JavaScript headless browser. This technique will allow you to navigate pages that heavily rely on JavaScript. Copy the code and paste it in Google Collab. Next, you'll need to input the Crawlbase token. If you already have the token, go ahead and paste it here. If not, create a free account on Crawlbase website and get it from there. It's a pretty simple process. Now, execute the code. This code uses a smart proxy to access Instagram, instructs the crawling API on how to handle the request, makes the request, decodes the JSON response, and prints the result. The output will be in JSON format representing information such as account name, caption, image, like count, view count, and much more. I hope this tutorial on scraping Instagram was helpful and covers your scraping needs. You can find a written description of this tutorial on our blog. I am adding the link in the description below. You can find scraping tutorials for other social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter on our blog and YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest tutorials.
And, if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover in the future, let us know in the comments section below. Your feedback is crucial to us. Thank you for joining us today. See you in the next video.